Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about the position of the center of mass. If mass is uniformly distributed in an object, the position vector for that case can be written as one upon m volume integration. Rho R R D V. Here, capital M is the total mass which is contained within the volume V, and rho density, and R is the position vector. D V is a volume element. Now we will define the center of mass frame. The center of mass frame is an inertial frame in which the center of mass of a system is at rest with respect to origin of coordinate system now we will solve some numerical problems related to center of mass the first problem is 3 masses are placed on the x-axis two hundred gram at x equal to zero centimeter five hundred gram at x equal to 30 centimeter and 400 gram at x equal to 70 cm. Now we have to find the center of mass at x axis now we know from our earlier formula the position coordinate of the center of mass along x axis can be written as xcm is equal to sigma i m i x i upon sigma i m i so we will write it as 0 into 0 0.2 here gram is converted into kilogram and centimeter is converted into meter so 
पॉइंट थ्री इंटू पॉइंट फाइव प्लस पॉइंट सेवन इंटू पॉइंट फोर डिवाइडेड बाई पॉइंट टू प्लस पॉइंट फाइव प्लस पॉइंट फोर तो यार एक्स सी एम कम्स आउट टू बी इफ यू सॉल्व इट इट कम्स आउट टू बी पॉइंट थ्री नाइन मीटर नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मासेज इन दी एक्स वाई प्लेन फोर किलोग्राम एट एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो वाई इक्वल टू फाइव मीटर सेवन किलोग्राम एट सेवन किलोग्राम एट एक्स इक्वल टू थ्री मीटर वाई इक्वल टू एट मीटर एंड फाइव किलोग्राम एट एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री मीटर एंड वाई इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्स मीटर नाउ वॉट यू हेव टू फाइंड फाइंड द पोजिशन ऑफ इट्स सेंटर ऑफ मास अगेन वी विल यूज द फॉर्मूला फॉर सेंटर ऑफ मास फॉर एक्स कोऑर्डिनेट एक्स सी एम इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा आई एम आई एक्स आई अपॉन सिग्मा आई एम आई सो इट कम्स आउट टू बी जीरो इंटू फोर प्लस थ्री इंटू सेवन प्लस माइनस थ्री इंटू फाइव अपॉन फोर प्लस सेवन प्लस फाइव इफ यू सॉल इट इट कम्स आउट टू बी पॉइंट थ्री एट मीटर सिमिलरली वी कैन फाइंड वाई कोऑर्डिनेट फॉर द सेंटर ऑफ मास इट विल बी इक्वल टू सिग्मा आई एम आई वाई आई अपॉन सिग्मा आई एम आई एंड दिस कम्स आउट टू बी फाइव इंटू फोर प्लस एट इंटू सेवन प्लस माइनस सिक्स इंटू फाइव अपॉन फोर प्लस सेवन प्लस फाइव सो इफ यू सॉल्व इट इट कम्स आउट टू बी टू पॉइंट नाइन मीटर because your body is in the xy plane so z coordinate of the center of mass will be zero so these are the answer of the problem problem means two identical रोड कार्स सीट होने ओरिजोंटल ट्रैक विद अ डिस्टेंस capital d between their centers 
by means of a cable between then a winch on one is used to pull the two cars together find number one describe their relative motions and number two repeat if the masses of one car is three times of the other. Now we will see that how we can solve it. First we will make the two cars. Let us say this is car 1 and this is car 2. The mass of car 1 is suppose M1 and its mass is M2. Here let us say this is the center of the first car and this is the center of the second car as in the problem uh, given that the distance between the centers of the car is capital D and these two cars are joined by cable here you see that uh, the force is due to the cable on the two cars are internal forces and there is no external force on the system so the center of mass which will lie uh, somewhere in between the two cars does not move so we will write here the forces due to the cable on the two cars are internal force for the two car system here the net external force is zero therefore the center of mass 
of the system will load more although each car moves towards each other as they are joined by a cable now taking the origin of the coordinates center of mass we have here because the center of mass does not move so we will write the x coordinate of the center of mass it is fixed and we have considered it as an origin so we will write it as zero and according to the formula it is equal to mi xi upon sigma mi so for the two car system you can write it as m1 x1 plus m2 x2 upon m1 plus m2 here what are x1 and x2 x1 and x2 are the positions of of the centers of two cars right so in the first case if m1 is equal to m2 then the last equation which was written for xcm was equal to sigma i m i x i upon sigma i m i it becomes zero is equal to x1 plus x2 by 2 or x1 is equal to minus x2 the minus sign here signifies that the two cars are approaching to each other towards the center of mass the center of mass originally here is at distance distance of d by 2 from the centers of two cars the next problem is 
here the mass are not same here it is given that m1 is equal to 3m2 so from the earlier formula again we can write 0 is equal to here in this case also the center of mass does not move so we will write xcm is 0 so your equation becomes 0 is equal to 3m2 x1 plus m2 x2 3m2 plus m2 now it becomes uh, 3x1 plus x2 by 4 now here we can have x1 is equal to minus x2 by 3 thus the two cars approach each other the minus sign signifies it in such a way that that the mass center remains constant and here we also see that the heavier car is always one third as far away from it as the lighter car originally and because you know that the actual distance between the two cars is originally x1 plus x2 if you take uh, if, we if we neglect the negative sign it is equal to capital D it is given in the problem so we have here x2 by 3 plus x2 is equal to capital D so m2 was originally at distance x2 is equal to 3 by 3d by 4 x2 is equal to 3d by 4 or from the center of mass and m1 was the distance d by 4 from it thank you